Um, Jace and I went out to a track, yep. just to get a gauge on how far someone like your bolts, um, people like that are. Yeah, Marvin Gaze, that sort of. Yeah. Let's check out that footage. Keep that up for a good yeah, keep, 10 seconds. Keep working, keep working, mate. Yeah. Now, Josh, in our athletic segment, we're obviously talking about sprinters. Now, tell me, what makes a great sprinter? I mean, you, we're talking fast muscle twitch fibres, aren't we? Yeah, certainly explosivity. That's, that's what uh, sprinting's all about. So um, a lot of that's genetically predetermined, of course. And it's a natural thing, of course. I mean, I, mean, I could work out all day, and obviously I'm, a, I'm, I'm an ex-athlete myself. Um, but I'm never going to be able to be as fast as those guys, am I? Oh, certainly you can build on it, Lee, but, uh, you know, genetics play a big part uh, in this. Um, yeah, some people have more fast twitch muscle fibres than others. Yeah. OK. I want you to look at his style here and see if you can tell me what he's doing wrong. Oh, yeah. No, he has a lot of problems. <laughs> Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he hasn't got fast switch fibers, has he? Uh, no. Tell me what he's doing wrong, if anything. Right. He's, uh, you know, he's giving it his best. I think he might have also got blessed with the slow twitch as well. Seemed to me that his arms were going a little bit faster than his legs, so not very rhythmic. The twitch fibers take a while to wake up, but uh, let's get the quads and the, uh, the glutes working, and perhaps uh, my arms are actually going a bit faster than my legs at the moment, which isn't ideal when you're sprinting. Yeah, so no, it was good. That's good, that, mate. Um, mm. Just noticed, uh, I think your arms are going kind of faster than your legs are on that one. Yeah, I just said that. You, you, mm. Okay. 16.9. Uh, well, as I say, I'm not an explosive, I'm more endurance. Uh, as well, we've got to remember with the camera. Um, nowadays, with technology, we can use this to help speed up. As times, we can analyse that footage, or at least with his face, we can see we went wrong anyway. Mm. Um, but um, how did the shoes go? They fit all right? Yeah, no, they're good, mate. They're good. They fit really well. Not too big? No, I've got a big cock. What's that got to do with it? Well, in terms of the shoe size, I've got quite a big cock. You're not going to wear the shoes on your cock, though, eh? So... Well, no, I'm not going to wear them on my cock, but what I'm saying is when people, you know, the shoes fit well, even though they're quite big shoes, and I, I fit big shoes very well because I've got a big cock. And you said, do the shoes fit? And I said, I've got a big cock. But generally the story goes that if a lady says, Christ, did you see the size of his feet? They're usually referring to the fact that he's probably got a big cock. Well, not, not, if, not if she works in a shoe store or something, she wouldn't, she wouldn't be thinking that. That's part of a job, surely. Well, in the shoe store, but in the, general, in the general parlance of everyday conversation, if a woman says, did you see the size of his feet? What she's generally saying is he must have a big cock. In my case, you know, the, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty diminutive sort of fellow, but I've got huge feet and a big cock. But the size 10, they fit. That's yeah, the no, point. Okay. Uh, well, um, anyway, that, that's not a bad time. I think we have one more crack at it. We'll see how we go. Sure. All right. Let's give it a crack, fellas. 